Um, hello, dear Open Doors participants. Uh, we are glad you joined uh, the Open Doors uh, Olympiad webinar uh, with the representatives of the universities. Today we have two universities from a beautiful city of Tomsk. Uh, and um, my name is Anna. I am a project manager of Open Doors Graduate Scholarship Project. Uh, and uh, I have two speakers today who joined me. Um, Tatiana from Tomsk Polytechnic University. Hello, Tatiana. And uh, Alexandra uh, from uh, Tomsk State University. Hello, Alexandra. Okay, so uh, first let me share uh, some housekeeping details about today's webinar. Um, during the session uh, and, the present uh, and during the presentations, uh, you will be able to write your questions in the Q&A section. And uh, when you uh, write the question, it will be helpful if you write the name of the university uh, to which representative you address your question, or if it's a general one, uh, you, 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 can, uh, you can just miss this point. Um, and at the end of this, at the end of the presentations, we, uh, we will um, read the questions which were not answered during the session, and we'll try to cover most of them. Uh, please note that we will address uh, the questions uh, uh, which will be addressed to the universities. Um, all the issues connected with the organization of the Olympiad. Uh, and uh, if you have any specific issues uh, with the submission of the portfolio uh, or have uh, questions about the following stages of, of the Olympiad may be dismissed. So let me start with the general information about the Olympiad. I will share my presentation and uh, will give you some important details about the main stages of the Olympiad. Uh, this is the seventh year of uh, the Open Doors, which is organized by the Global Universities Association with the support of the Ministry of Higher Education and Science of the Russian Federation. Uh, last year, about 80,000 participants from more than one nine, uh, 190 countries submitted their portfolios to join the competition to win the full tuition scholarship for studies in the master or PhD program in one of the leading Russian universities. Uh, you can participate in the Olympiad in Russian or in English, and all the stages are organized online. As an Olympiad winner, you can choose to study at any Russian university at the master's level, which offers the program in which you are interested in and where you get admission. Uh, but there is an advantage uh, to apply to one of the university's organizers uh, as they guarantee your admission to the programs which they define for the winners of the Olympiad. Uh, the, the participation in the doctoral track is only possible for future studies in one of the university's organizers. Uh, in Russia, you can study in Russian or in English, depending on the program's availability in English language. And today, our, um, our speakers will tell you which programs are available for the winners of the Olympiad in English. The foundation year when you study Russian is also available and is covered by the scholarship. There are 14 subjects uh, for participation in the Olympiad. You are not limited uh, with the number of the subjects, though we encourage you to familiarize yourself with the programs uh, when you make your choice and you can get a scholarship in just one subject, even if you get a winner status in more than one. Uh, so now we have uh, the uh, first stage, with it, which is the portfolio submission in progress, and it will last till December 10. To complete the stage, you should take the entrance test uh, and complete the motivation letter in, in the subject chosen. Another mandatory requirement is to submit your educational documents. Uh, any additional achievements you upload, such as, uh, such as publications or certificates or awards, um, if you add them to your portfolio, it will also add the points to the final score you will get for the portfolio. 
Uh, the submission of portfolios will become available on November 1st. So I know there are a lot of questions from our participants when it uh, it's become available. So just wait a little bit and it will be opened. And uh, you will be able to uh, make changes in your portfolios uh, and withdraw them till November 30th. Uh, on December 10, those portfolios which were not submitted uh, by the participants will be transferred to the submitted status automatically and you will not be able to change anything in them uh, since then. So the participants of the first stage uh, who are allowed to proceed to the second stage are announced uh, on December 22nd. Um, the second stage begins and the um, the schedule of the exams is already available on the Olympiad website, so you can familiarize yourself with that. Uh, please note, uh, there are several subjects scheduled for one day, uh, and uh, the mandatory registration for the exam is required. Uh, the instructions will be provided uh, to you, and they will be available in your participants' accounts uh, in the Olympiad website, um, after the uh, participants of the second stage are announced. Uh, if you uh, participate in the doctoral track and uh, would like to proceed with the PhD studies in Russia, uh, the list of prospective supervisors would uh, become available on the website in November. Uh, the rounds of the interviews with the prospective research supervisors and the managers of the doctoral track uh, will take place at the end of February and middle of March. Uh, the winners of the master's track uh, uh, are um, announced on February 9, and they will have a couple of weeks to upload uh, the documents uh, for a scholarship in uh, the participants' accounts. Uh, the doctoral tracks winners uh, will be announced on March 13, and uh, the procedure of the submission of the documents is a bit different. So uh, the winners of the doctoral track should submit their documents directly to the universities uh, where the uh, scientific supervision is confirmed for them. You can find more information on the Olympiad uh, on the Olympiad's rules and procedures uh, in the Olympiad website, uh, in the Olympiad review, uh, in the section uh, where the Olympiad rules are uh, located. You can also uh, go through the frequently asked questions section on the website. It's very helpful, and uh, I'm sure that you will find a lot of uh, very useful information there. Uh, please join our groups uh, in Vkontakte and Telegram channel, where we publish the uh, interesting facts and useful information about universities, the programs they offer, accommodation options, and other interesting and important information about the stages of the Olympiad. Uh, if you have any specific questions, which uh, will not be found in any available resources for you, you can use the feedback form uh, or send us an email. So I'm, uh, I am done with my part. And uh, now I would like to invite the representative of Tomsk Polytechnic University uh, to share the presentation and information about the university. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Tatiana Sakip, and I'm representative of Tomsk Polytechnic University. There are a total two universities in Tomsk who is a part of the Global uh, Universities Association. And this is uh, Tomsk Polytechnic University is one of them. Now we will start the presentation. Um, Tomsk Polytechnic University is one of the leading universities uh, um, in Central Asia. And, uh, it has a, it takes a first place in the petroleum engineering in Russia. We have very strong fields uh, on geology and uh, petroleum development fields. Also, there are strong fields in mechanical engineering, electrical and electronic engineering, computer science. 
So Tom's Polytechnic University is an engineering university, and there are over uh, 3,000 international students at TPU, and rapidly is growing. Uh, most of the students are coming from Asia and Africa and Latin America. Of course, we offer also uh, masters, postgraduate tracks, uh, except for bachelor and uh, uh, additional programs. And of course, uh, you can take also a one-year preparatory course um, uh, in case the program is taught in Russian. There are uh, eight schools now at Tomsk Polytechnic University, which are dealing with different um, subjects. There are master degree English taught programs. Please pay attention to uh, the programs which you can directly apply and start your studies from uh, September 24. Uh, this is physics, uh, ecology and nature management, power engineering and electrical engineering, nuclear physics and technology, and material science and material technology. Uh, let's see. Uh, the pictures, please. Uh, there are campuses of Tomsk Polytechnic University, historical buildings, and of course, you should know some about the story of uh, our city, since this is a, a student city here. So at TPU, uh, there are modern classrooms, and uh, almost uh, each lab equipped well with uh, uh, all modern devices, and we're trying to renew it um, annually. Um, there are advanced research fields in nuclear research reactor, geological polygon, and digital simulation. Also, there are uh, high uh, top researches, which are uh, the most popular at TPU. <laughs> and you can see them on the screen. Well, TPU is famous about their campuses because uh, every student is provided with the place of the new dormitory, especially for international students currently renewed a few dormitories. And uh, there is access to library, culture center, swimming pool, sports ground, of course. And I want to tell you something about scholarships because uh, in our university, students receive the same scholarship like Russian citizens. And for masters, um, uh, students, it's around four and a half thousand rubles, which can increase in case of excellent studies. And for postgraduate track, it takes around 10,000 rubles and it can be also increased. Well, you can see some pictures of the uh, dormitories, resident halls. There are student clubs and activities. And of course, Tomsk is a student capital of Russia. Here is a small academic city which has uh, six uh, state universities, more than 100,000 students. And um, our city is a safe, tolerant, and international. Here you can feel uh, safe and you can find many um, citizens of your country from our or another universities. They are always has communities. They have communities uh, where you can always get support. And of course, from our university uh, members and employees, you can also take every information. Well, here is the contacts of uh, our office. Uh, which coordinator of Open Doors Olympiad is uh, my email and my colleague, Tatiana. Thank you for attention. Uh, thank you, Tatiana, very much. Uh, yeah, thank you. It was um, a brief and uh, complete <laughs> introduction and uh, information about the uh, Tomsk Polytechnic University. We have a lot of questions from the participants and uh, we will try to, to address them, the most of them uh, at the end of the uh, presentations. So now I'm uh, uh, transferring Alexandra uh, from uh, Tomsk State University. Hello everybody. Yes, um, I'd like to present Tomsk State University. 
Uh, Tomsk University is located in Tomsk, which is a four hour flight from Moscow. It's in the middle of Siberia and it's a small student town with over six universities. Uh, they one of the top student cities in Russia. Right now, it is rated as the third best student city in Russia by the QS and 85th in, in the world. Tom State University today is uh, one of the top universities in Russia as far as education goes, and the second best in international internationalization, with over three and a half thousand international students studying at our university from over 70 countries. We have the largest diasporas in Russia from Vietnam, Laos, and Indonesia, and over 11 programs in English. Uh, that being said, aside from the internationalization factor, we also have 21 faculties and institutes covering most fields of study except uh, medical studies, over 145 departments, 15,000 students overall, and over 4,000 staff members, 150 educational tracks, from which, as I said already, 11 are in English, both in bachelor's, master's, and PhD. Uh, Tom State University has over 500 doctors of sciences and 1,300 candidates of sciences right now. 27 academicians, 62 laureates of state prize of the Russian Federation, and 21 dissertation councils. Uh, Tom State University also offers precourse departments that teach the English, uh, the Russian language to a sufficient level for you to study both in bachelor's, master's, or PhD in Russian after going through the course, which takes one full year and covers not only the Russian language, but also separate uh, subjects, depending on the profile that you choose, having such as humanities, engineering and technology, economics, and biomedical sciences. There is no need to learn, know Russian to apply for the pre-course department, and the Open Door Scholarship covers the pre-course department track if needed. As I said already, we have 11 programs in English right now, such as bioinformatics, biodiversity, mathematical analysis and modeling, physics methods of informational technologies in biomedicine, international management, English language teaching literature, big data and data science, which is particularly interesting to our foreign students, and computer engineering, applied artificial intelligence and robotics. Hello everyone, my name is Vega. Uh, currently, I'm studying at Tomstead University, majoring in international relations, master degree. So today, I want to share with you how how I won the uh, Open Doors Master Degree Scholarship. So the first stage of the scholarship application process involved document checking. I submitted all the required documents online. And the second stage was proctoring exam, which took place in January. And after that, in March, I received a vinyl results. And I think the plus of this scholarship that are it is conducted online, and it provides me a lot of time to prepare my master degree before the education begins. Uh, in September. Okay, uh, thank you, Open Doors. See you. Mm -hmm. State University is a scientific university first and foremost, which means that regardless of the level of education that you're taking, be it bachelor's, master's, or PhD, the science track is a very important part of your education. And it means also means that the science part of the work for university is prominent. We have eight centers of excellence, 12 collective youth centers, 44 lead science schools, three research institutes, and a huge amount of laboratories that are at the disposition of our students and staff. The State University has new dormitories that have been built in the last five to 10 years that are offered to our international students and are very nearby to our main buildings within a 15 minute walk. So you won't uh, spend time in logistics having to travel from and two from campus to the dormitories and back. 
This leaves a lot of time for you to do your education, to work on your science projects, to hang out with your friends and everything else that is part of being a student. As far as the prices go, accommodation costs at Thompson University range overall at $20 per month for a two to four people dormitory room. You will usually spend about $24 in transportation when we take aside the fact that you don't need to travel to and from the dormitory, which you can do by foot, around $80 in entertainment and over $150 in food, which would be mean that $275 per month would be enough to cover all your expenses. One of the main uh, features of Thompson University is a strong uh, push in the academic adaptation and social adaptation sense. We have a lot of adaptational services within our university, including language adaptation, such as speaking clubs, of which we have over 15 right now, language tendencies that can help you teach your language whilst also learning Russian, a body system, volunteers from both Russians and foreign students that help with the, uh, the first steps of arriving, and also with any trouble you'll have throughout your education. We also have a social adaptation service, which helps join you to a volunteer that can help you, organizes cultural events, such as Indonesian Day, Lao New Year, uh, Latin American Day, etc., which helps with the socialization of our international students. We have an academic adaptation service, which helps you coordinate uh, with your faculty, should there be any issue throughout your academic studies at Tom State University. And other adaptational services, such as help with temporary employment and associations of international students and graduates from different countries. Uh, Tom State University is in the middle of a big student cities, which means that there's everyday activities for any type of interest that you should have, but also Thompson University has lots of events, clubs, and sports activities that are done within the university. Uh, you can practice any type of sport you are interested in, that being said, or underwater uh, swimming club is the strongest in Russia right now. Uh, finally, we have a YouTube account in eight languages that is available, YouTube TCU International, curated by our foreign students, which tell in their own language about life at Tomsk, life at Tomsk State University, and everything that has to do with being an international student here. So I would highly recommend for you to join the channel and see what it's like to live and study at Tomsk State University. We also have a Telegram channel, TCU Online, which publishes news about the international the life of our international students, and obviously our main website. All the QR codes are on display. I really hope that you will choose Thompson University for your education, both in master's or PhD track regarding whether this level of your interest. And I'm here to answer any of your questions. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Alexandra, uh, for the presentation given about Tomsk State University. Uh, I hope um, a lot of questions were answered, uh, which we received to the Q&A section from our participants today. So um, there are a lot of questions which, um, which repeat themselves. So I will try to uh, combine them in the groups <laughs> and uh, we will try to cover them. Uh, I know that uh, there are also um, representatives uh, which reply them uh, in writing. So, so while we are answering the questions, uh, you still will get uh, the answers in writing as well. So let me start uh, with the Q&A section. So one of the questions which is very uh, frequent among the participants is, um, is the gap in between the studies matter so for example, if the bachelor degree was completed, let's say five or 10 years ago, will it influence the chance of the participant uh, to become a student of the university in the master's level or PhD? As far as I'm aware for Tom State University, the gap depends on how long it is, five is not a big issue. 
10 to 15, it can be an issue because there will be difficulty with continuing your education. That being said, it also depends on the grades of the profile subjects in your previous diploma. If the uh, uh, subjects, the profile subjects are in good grades, usually we look first of all to, at them and all the other documents and not at the gap between the year education and now. Okay, thank you for the answer. Um, uh, we have a question regarding the um, stipend, uh, which is provided monthly. Uh, so like, uh, as uh, I said in the uh, Olympiad presentation part, uh, the tuition fees are fully covered by the governmental scholarship. Uh, yes, but there is also the monthly stipend which the students get. So uh, could you please, like, I know that some part of it was covered during the presentation, but if you uh, repeat it for the participants, it will be helpful. Sure. Uh, we had in our presentation the fees, so I propose scholarships and master degree receive around four or five thousand rubles per month which can increase in case of excellent studies. And mm -hmm. postgraduate track receive around 10,000 rubles per month, which can be also increased. Okay, thank you. Uh, as far as I'm aware, for the first semester of the master's degree, uh, students receive a higher than scholarship. Uh, so, as far as I'm aware, the masters usually receive around 10,000 at Tom State University. That being said, it's only for the first semester. Also, the fees for the dormitories are covered by the university for the first semester of the studies. And then you have to pay them for yourselves, and the monthly stipend will also lower, lower itself to 5,000 mm -hmm. for the master's track. Only for the prize winners, for, for, for the first level. Okay. So uh, the next next question is, uh, does both universities offer a software engineering master's program and whether it's available in English? Okay. Uh, Tom State University offers a software engineering track. Uh, we have a software engineering track in Russian and a big data and data science track in English. There are different uh, programs, so depending on your preference, it will be di different. The software engineering one at Top State University is strictly in Russian. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, regarding the Tomsk Polytechnic University, we had the software engineering track in English as well a few years ago. Uh, however, currently is a bit removed because of uh, no groups gathered. So if we have a program and there is, if there is enough people, we can open this track in English. Currently is in Russian. Thank you very much. Yeah, but uh, actually, as we all already explained, and uh, the representatives of the universities also shared this information, um, you can uh, opt for the uh, preparatory year in Russian language, uh, study Russian, and then proceed with the studies at the master's level in Russian language. So, and the tuition fees um, are covered for this uh, Russian preparatory year as well. So it could be your choice if the program uh, which you would like to enter is not available in, in English language, if you are the Olympiad winner. Okay, so um, uh, th there are also a lot of questions I would like to answer <laughs> answer, um, answer it regarding the um, IELTS or TOEFL or any other English language test uh, as a part of uh, the admission procedure. Uh, if you participate in the Olympiad and if you get the winner status, uh, no other proofs of English language is required uh, because like you prove uh, your level of English, English by participating uh, in, in, in English in the, uh, in the Olympiad. So um, I would like to address that to avoid a lot of answers in the Q&A section to the same question. 
Um, there is a question uh, to Tomsk State University. Uh, do you offer data science master's degree? Yes, we do offer a program in big data and data science in English um, in the master's level. Yes. Okay. Um, does like any university which are presenting today offer the master degree in public health? No. Okay. So you can, uh, yeah, uh, you can then, um, if you are interested in the public health, you can go to the uh, Olympiad website. There is a list of the universities and uh, the landing pages available. So you can go through the available programs at other universities, which are the part of the Olympiad. Uh, uh, Tomsk State University, there is a question for you again. Uh, do you offer urbanization and engineering? And uh, is the tuition is also free? <laughs> okay, actually, yes. We explained that the uh, for the winners of the Olympiad, the tuition fees are covered by the governmental scholarship. And uh, what about our urbanism and engineering program? No, we don't have such program at Tomsk University. Uh, regarding the health, uh, we have a biotechnology program and there is a track mm -hmm. on pharmaceuticals by um, engineering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, as well as nuclear medicine also covers the health issues. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. But no other. Yeah. Yeah, no, no public health, but some, some uh, fields, uh, some programs related to this field. Okay, so um, the next question is regarding the GPA requirement. Um, well, actually, there is no strict GPA requirements. Uh, and uh, if you prove that you have, that your level of knowledge is uh, high enough to get the winner status, the university would accept your application. Uh, each university announces the programs which are available for the Olympiad winners um, without any additional uh, entrance exams. So you will you will be able and you are able actually to familiarize yourself with them uh, in the pages of the universities, in the web pages. Okay, so... Um, I believe that some participants ask for the presentations to be uploaded. So maybe I will ask the uh, representatives of the universities, Tatiana and Alexandra, could you please upload the presentations uh, which you deliver today to the chat section for our participants to download them being able to uh, go through the information you provided. Okay. Um, okay. So the next question would be, uh, is there any PhD program in Earth and environmental studies uh, taught in uh, Tomsk Polytechnic or Tomsk State University? Tomsk State University has environmental tracks both on the biology faculty and on the geology faculty. So depending on what uh, field of interest you are interested in, in the environmental track, you could choose either or. Thank you. All right, okay. here is DPU. We offer master degree track in ecology and nature management in English. Okay, thank you very much. Um, the, uh, there is a question like, how much is the average cost of living for a student in Tomsk? Uh, as I have stated during my presentation, the average cost would be around $250 to $275 per month for a scholarship student who already has all his tuition fees covered by this scholarship. But that being said, it also depends on the type of life you're looking for. 
because we have students who are living for $200 per month and others who are spending a lot more money. It depends on the type of life you're looking for. $250 is a comfortable living in Tomsk for a student. Uh, I would like just to add that Tomsk is uh, not a capital city, so here is a Siberian small academic city where is the cost of living is quite cheap and you can comfortably live with, uh, from $200 up to $220, uh, 50 so it's quite enough. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I also have question regarding like whether any uh, exam in Russian is required <laughs> to participate and enter. No, it's also not required as well as English. If uh, if you start, if you choose to study in Russian, then uh, we assume that you know it, or ah. you you opt to to start with the uh, with the preparatory year. Yeah. Uh, there is a question regarding the social science courses available at the universities. So do you offer them? Yes, Thompson University has tracks both in political sciences, in anthropology, ethnography, uh, international affairs, uh, law, sociology, uh, social sciences in general. So it really depends on uh, philosophy also. So it depends on what field of study you're interested in within the social field, because it's a very wide range of specializations that you can choose from. But as far as English speaking programs go, we have a linguistics program that's in English and international management that are in English. Everything else will be covered in Russian, at least in the master's track. As far as PhD, it is very, you need to contact the university and see whether or not we have PhD supervisors who are available in English in the field of study you're interested in. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, there are specific questions about uh, about the programs and situations which the students have. Uh, but I believe that it would be better, like if you have any specific uh, questions regarding the um, regarding your situation and the programs, you can address them directly to the representatives of the universities. So if you feel that you are not 100% uh, sure that the program meets your um, requirements or uh, you, you want uh, more details about it, uh, the representatives of the universities shared their contact details, so you can uh, ask them to provide more information to you after the webinar ended. Um, okay, so there is another question about study gap, so we already addressed that. Um, a lot of questions about engineering, but we already also discussed it. Uh, and uh, I believe, like the we all uh, we already covered the questions regarding the dormitories, dormitories, the and and the costs in the presentations uh, as part of the living expenses. Yes, I believe that you um, gave the fees for the accommodation at the campus of the universities. Yes. Okay. So we addressed that during the presentation. Um, some students ask whether it's possible uh, to study and work at the university during the studies. So do you have such examples among the international students? Yes, uh, now State University has students working. That being said, according to migratory law of the Russian Federation, People who come into Russia with a student visa are only allowed to work part-time. So any job you are going to be employed at has to be part-time. Otherwise, you will be in the infringement of the Russian migration law. That's the first and foremost thing that I want to specify because it is a very important one. 
The second thing that has to be taken into account is that Russia is not an overly English-speaking country. So if you want to work at in Russia, you should know at least some level of Russia sufficient for you to be able to be employed. Thompson University usually looks to find jobs within the university for English-speaking students to help them out with their financial situation. But we are one university and we have over 1,000 students for, from 70 countries studying here. So obviously, we can't employ everybody at the university. There is a lot of competition for working within the university and not everybody will have everybody will find a job there. So I would recommend taking into account that you will need to learn Russian and you will only be able to work part-time in most cases. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, probably uh, you could share some examples of the successful Olympiad winners uh which you have at the universities and uh what are i don't know most popular programs among them or maybe you can share some successful story of the graduate of the university we have a big percentage of our uh students that are studying by scholarship and personally we don't separate olympiad winners from other scholarship students because for us they're both scholarship students that being said, uh, many of our scholarship students at Top State University are extremely successful within their studies. Right now, for example, we have a young lady from Indonesia who has finished her master's degree in uh, Russian philology and has applied for a PhD track in Russian philology. And since she has an, a diploma with excellence from our university, she has been uh, submitted to our Enter TSU scholarship, which is 15,000 for the first year of education, uh, which we are going to offer to her specifically because she has a fully excellent diploma from our university and she has applied again to our university for her PhD studies. This is a new scholarship that Tom State University has uh, granted to our foreign students since of this year. It is specifically for our own graduates that are staying with us for their second level of education, be it master's or PhD. Thank you. Well, Great start. for Tomsk Polytechnic University, uh, the, most of the scholarship students, they with the good and excellent marks. And of course, they have some industrial experience, uh, which uh, allowed for foreigns, for international students. Uh, and they are recommended well uh, upon completion of studies in their countries. And um, uh, regarding the Olympiad, we have one student from uh, Spanish, uh, uh, Spain. He was uh, studying an engineering program on material science, I guess, that he found a good job of, of, upon completion. And he his diploma met well in his country. He, that is one of the positive and good story. And of course, some students are, most of the students deciding to continue the studies uh, upon completion of master degree or postgraduate degree also here, because they have connection, they have supervisors who are leading them for higher education. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, the question is for both universities. Do you have the programs available in electronics electronics and wireless communication in English or in Russian? No such programs, okay. Geoscience? Okay. Yes, you so do. As regarding geoscience is um, uh, actually a field of postgraduate track. But we have a master degree in geology and petroleum engineering uh, in, in in Russian. Sorry, it's currently only in Russian. But uh, we are one of the leading universities in Russia in this field. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good to know. Okay, so um, I also have some issue with the presentation. I don't know for some reason it doesn't go through. But uh, yeah, um, for those participants who haven't received it, 
uh, you can um, you can probably uh, write your emails in the Q and A section within the next couple of minutes, asking for the presentation. And uh, when we uh, end the webinar, I will just send it to you. So it would be a better solution, I believe. <laughs> so. For those who would like to get the presentation of the Tomsk uh, State University, uh, which we had some technical issues to upload, so please uh, uh, please write your email uh, within the next following minutes and we will send it to you. How can I participate in the exam after I did the registration, what is next? Okay, so this is the question regarding the organizational part. Um, as I said, the after the portfolio submission, which will be opened in uh, the beginning of November, uh, you should wait uh, when your portfolio is estimated and we will announce uh, the participants of the second stage, uh, which will be um, able to take part in the exams uh, on December 22nd. Okay, so the contact details of the representatives of the universities are available in the presentations. Okay, there were questions about the visa issues. Uh, it's not uh, the uh, like the our field of responsibility, unfortunately. Um, so it should be addressed to the Ministry of Foreign Relations and uh, uh, and uh, like. The most of the uh, most of the winners they are able to enter Russia for studies. Okay, so like yeah, all all of the questions are quite specific. Uh, we covered most of the general questions regarding the programs available at the universities. So thank you for very much for the presentations given. Uh, and uh, I believe that we are closing uh, our webinar today. Uh, I hope that uh, you got uh, useful information for you regarding Tomsk and the and uh, this uh, very good universities, Russian universities located there with the unique uh, features and programs they offer. So thank you very much again for the presentations today and being with us. Um, special thanks to the speakers. And uh, next week uh, we will have um, two more universities presenting for you, which is Ural Federal, Federal University and National Research Novosibirsk State Universities. So stay tuned. You will get the uh, links to the uh, webinars next week. Okay, thank you all. Have a great day and uh, I wish good luck to all participants who joined us today. Thank you guys. Hope to see you here in Tomsk. <laughs> yes, we will be very happy to see you among the big amount of students we have in this small town. The more the merrier. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Bye everyone.